I am a strange man, but what's even stranger than me are Minecraft world records. So I searched through the internet to find the strangest world records, and I stumbled upon nine that I thought were worthy. The first was the fastest time to make and display 10 cakes in Minecraft survival with the mouse and keyboard. And I thought, why the heck is this even a thing? I love it. So, I started crafting cakes for 5 minutes. Now, all I had to do was find the best way to place cakes. But there's a problem. There is only 9 slots in the hotbar, and I need to place 10 cakes to be efficient. But after 20 seconds of using my brain, I figured, why not just put one cake in my offhand? And that worked! Now that I figured out the most optimal strategy, it is now time to destroy this guy's hopes and dreams. Alrighty. 3, 2, go. Three, one, two, three. That. Place, 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 place. And done. That was like, what, like 35 seconds? So I beat it by like around a minute and five seconds. I, I am pretty proud of that. Who's the best cake man now? <laughs> Anyways, for this next record, I almost lost my sanity because I need to perform 3,507 three gap jumps in a row. Like, what? I calculated it. It would take you around 33 minutes of straight jumping. And that's not to mention how precise you have to be in that 33 minutes because one mistake means you have to completely restart. Whenever I first saw this record, I was like, this seems pretty easy. Oh, how wrong I was. I started the first attempt feeling pretty confident, but after about 8 minutes, I started to get a little nervous because I realized how long 33 minutes is. Whenever you are just jumping in a block game, you start to lose yourself a little bit, but still, I was really focused. Then I made a critical mistake. I lost my focus and fell to my doom. I wasn't that mad. I didn't expect to get in my first attempt, so I tried again and failed, but no problem. I'll try again. Oh, and I failed that one too. Actually, that one wasn't my fault because my mouse randomly decided to jerk. I think it has a mind of its own. Then I broke the record on the fourth attempt. I'm just kidding. I didn't even last 10 minutes. Just like in real life. Like I always say, fifth attempt is a charm. I started the fifth attempt feeling great. Wait, never mind. I forgot to switch my game mode. All right, now I'm ready. Let's go. After I hit the 30 minute mark, my heart started pounding. I was only 3 minutes away from beating the record. If I even made a single mistake, I would have to start over. But as the time drew closer and closer, I started to become more and more confident. And when the timer hit 33 minutes, I knew I got it. But I couldn't stop there. I had to shatter this record. I was going to go until I fall. We keep going. We keep no! Okay. Yes. Yes. Let's see the distance. 8,774. What was it before? Guys, 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 look, I just did calculations. But look, oh, I, I broke the record. The record is 3,507. I got 4,544. Dude, I, I just broke it. Mamas, I did it. I broke the record. Are you guys proud of me? <coughs> Thank you. But we are not done with jumping. The next record is the most consecutive two block jumps. Look, I know it says Xbox 360, but I need to prove I am the jumping king. So I built the track and started to jump. And immediately, I was not used to the two block gap. And I only lasted for three minutes. I did manage to beat the record, but I was not satisfied. So I did it again. And it didn't take long before I passed my previous attempt. I was just getting into the groove of things. But suddenly, I fell. No, oh. No, I failed. I got so confused, but I lasted so long. I got 963 jumps. This fourth record is interesting. It's the most zombie pigmen spawn in Minecraft, and the record is only 4,031. This record is strange because this mostly relies on your PC and not actual skill. And I happen to have a semi-good PC. So I started building a cage. After the cage had been built, I started spawning. All right, there, boom, that, there's 400 right there. So let's just spam this a whole bunch. Things are dying. Things, oh, my game is, oh, my game is getting really laggy. Oh, and there's the record. We're at 11,000. I am running at two FPS. Can we get to one? But I am at one FPS. I think this is the limit. 20,000 is the limit. I think I can't even, the sound's not even registering. And I got to 20,000 entities. I knew I could get more. So I went into a new world and started building an even bigger platform. After 20 minutes of building, it was time to start spawning again. Now, let's just start spawning a whole bunch of entities. Let me just spam this command. Come on, we're going up though. We're, we're getting in there. 15,000. I'm running out of like one frame for a second. We just reached 20,000, that's good. Okay, 21. 
Oh, zero FPS. As long as I'm getting frames per second, I can do this. Oh, 30,000. Yes. You got to wonder, what is the limit, right? Am I reaching it? Will I ever reach the limit? We're getting a frame every like two seconds here. That's still too good. Yes, we reached 40,000 already, but we can go higher. I'm still rendering the game. Gosh, darn it. What, what happens if I do third person? Oh my God, it crashed. I got to like 44,000. Yeah, my, my game just crashed. <laughs> look, at, look at all the death. Dude, look at all this. I can't believe how many mobs just died. At the end of it all, I managed to spawn 44,000 zombie pigmen, absolutely annihilating the previous record. But did you know that you can speedrun Minecraft Classic? If you don't know what Minecraft Classic is, it's a website where you can play an older version of Minecraft completely for free. But you can also speedrun it. One of the speedruns is to reach Bedrock as fast as possible. The record right now is 1 second and 217 milliseconds, which sounds weird to say, but this is going to be so easy. Dude, that was fast. Dude, that was fast. That was fast. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. You know what? <laughs> you know what? I'm done. That was good enough. Well, it seems I can't break the one second barrier. I keep reaching bedrock around two seconds. So I have to change up my strategy. I tried normal clicking at first, which didn't go so well. Then I tried butterfly clicking. This was better, but I am inconsistent at butterfly clicking. So the next step is drag clicking, where you drag your finger across your mouse to get a high CPS. Never mind. My mouse really isn't meant for drag clicking, so it's back to butterfly clicking. And as I kept reaching bedrock, I slowly became faster and faster until eventually I got this run. Oh, what? That was so quick. And with that run, I got top 20 in the world, which I know isn't the world record, but out of 1,100 people, 18th place isn't that bad. Another classic speed run I did was reach the build limit, where you build up until you reach the height limit. With this record, it would be best to spawn on top of a tree on a mountain, so you are as close to the build height as possible. But finding a world where you spawn on a tree is quite difficult. So I generated hundreds of worlds to try and find the best world. Some of them were okay, where I got decent runs on, but most worlds were like this. Until I found this. Oh, okay. Nice. That was pretty quick. Not bad. And with that time, it got me in the top 10, which for only one hour of playtime is quite impressive. But what's more impressive is my ability to destroy trees or lack thereof. Since destroying a tree is a category in which I suck, I'm going to spare you guys the details and just show you the best run I got. Oh, there's a tree right next to me. This is good. Okay, well, and that time got me 39th place. Let's just say I'm not the best at destroying trees. Another strange record is the most cobblestone collected from a generator in one minute, which the record is 736, which is actually quite a lot. But by building this big generator, you can mine a lot of cobblestone in a short amount of time. Then you build a netherite beacon since you need haste to instant mine the cobblestone. I'm kidding. You really don't need to do that. After all of the preparation was done, it was time to attempt the record. Time. Okay, now everything needs to be transported into this. Okay, so this is the end result. Okay, now all we have to do is break it. I swear, if this didn't get it, get us enough, I'm gonna be so mad. Uh, no, that was gonna be a cakewalk. I need to build a bigger generator. Gosh darn it. Hopefully, this is big enough. I made it quite a bit bigger. I pretty much doubled it in size. Now, all we do is go. And done. Hopefully this time I do better. All right. This looks like we have more. I don't know if it's going to be enough though. Please. Please. Yes. 1,428. 752? Wait, wait, is that the record? Oh, yes, it is. Look at all that cobblestone. This is a thumbnail right here. I managed to beat the record by 16 cobblestone, making me the cobblestone king. 
Now, for the final record, it is the fastest time to build 100 snow golems with a mouse and keyboard, and the record is 57 seconds. I tried to find the best strategy. The strategy I found that worked the best is to place all of the snow at once, then fly above and place the pumpkins on top. With this method, I needed to practice placing two blocks vertically as fast as I could, and with a little practice, I got pretty consistent. It was time to attempt the world record. Three, two, one, go. And that's a bad start. Okay, okay. Attempt number two. Three, two, one. And time. Oh, 52 seconds. I did it. I got the world record. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't do it. No, dude. I... <laughs> I think 51 seconds is the best I got. And that's all nine records broken. Well, besides the classic world records. Goodbye.